Okay. Hi, Daryl here from FastTrackPiano.com where you can learn simple piano arrangements online. Now some people who have never really played the piano before have trouble moving their fingers so they can play what they're supposed to play, especially the left hand. Now I'm going to show you a nice little exercise that will help you get your left hand fingers going. I'd like to thank Glenn for uh, suggesting this idea by the way. Here we go. Um, now we've got two black, three black, this note here is C. If we put our little finger of the left hand on C, fourth finger on D, third finger on E, four, uh, second finger on uh, F, and thumb on G. I hope I said that right. So you've got C, D, E, F, G. Now, I can do that. That's great. Now, some people have trouble doing that. They're, 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 they end up playing two notes and all that sort of thing. So you're going to have to practice. Now, I haven't got a coin on me, but if you can put a coin on your uh, hand there and so, try and keep it there. If it falls off, then you're not playing properly. You've got to try and keep the coin on there. Now, we're just going to do this little exercise where you just go up the white notes. C, D, E, F, G, F, E, D, C. And say, do that three times. Now... In music, you don't just play white notes. Sometimes you play black notes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up one, and we're going to start on D. But this time, this finger is going to play that black note. So we're going to get your third finger up there on that note there, which is F sharp. Okay, so we're going to do three of these. D, E, F sharp, G, A, G, F sharp, E. How did you go? You can try three of those, right? Now, we're going to move up one more white note. And this time, we're going to put th both these no fingers on two black notes there. So move your hand in a little bit so you feel comfortable, right? So we've got F sharp and G sharp now. We're going to do five of those, starting on E. Sorry, we'll do three. I'm not going to do three for you now. You know what to do. That's what you do. Now it feels a little bit uncomfortable because your fingers are sitting up there on two black notes. Something a little bit unusual. Now we're going to move up one more white note. This time that finger is going to be playing a black note. B flat. So we might move our hand in just a little bit. Here we go. F, G, A, B flat, C, B flat, A, G, F. And you can practice that three times. The next one is G, A, B, C, D. It's the same as the first one, so all white notes. We won't, we won't bother. We'll move up one more, and we'll do starting on A. Now, this one, you have to have a black note in the middle. That's C sharp. So we go A, B, C sharp, D, E, D, C sharp, B, A. And uh, the second last one, we move up one more white note. And this time, it's pretty tricky. You've got to have these two fingers on black notes, there. This is on a white note, E. And this has to be on there. So, oh, move your hand in. Move your hand into here. Okay, so we've got B, C sharp, D sharp, E, and F sharp. Curve your fingers over. That's a tricky one. And then you can finish up with C, D, E, F, G, all white notes, just like we did at the beginning, only an octave higher. So that's a nice little exercise to do. So you start here. Push firmly and evenly. Then we go up one, black note. three of those. Don't do it fast. Go up one. Now you've got to play two black notes, F sharp and G sharp. Feels different. It's good for you. Up one more. This time we're going to play B flat. Firmly and evenly. Then you 
can do G, which is all white. Gives you a break. Now we go up to A, and we're going to play C sharp in there. Move your hand in a little bit. And now we do the tricky one. B, two black, E, and F sharp. That's a hard one. finish on this one. It's good for your left hand, so if you're having trouble with your left hand, take it slowly. It's not a race. Do it three times each and um, you'll get better with your left hand. See you next week.